With ACT Marketing Automation, you can use the SMS action to send a text message to your contacts within a marketing campaign. In this video, I want to show you how to use the SMS feature to perform beneficial messaging with your customers. To begin, make sure you click Marketing Automation in the left navigation and then from there, click Campaigns at the top of the screen. Before I begin, let me set this up by describing the campaign I want to create. I want to give my current customers a chance to opt in to my company's monthly newsletter. And so, I'm going to send them a text message which asks them to reply with the word yes. If they do, then I'll automatically add them to this campaign titled Cloudwalker Newsletter. So now let me show you how to add an SMS action to any campaign. Earlier, I created a blank campaign and I named it SMS Newsletter Opt-in. So I'm going to click this to open it. As I said, this is a blank campaign and I haven't made any changes to it yet. There's only one action step so far in this campaign, but it's currently set as an email step. So let's change that to an SMS step by clicking it. And then in the dropdown, we'll choose to change action type. And the action I want to change it to is SMS. And now I'll click go. Immediately, this takes us to the SMS message screen. At the top, I'm going to rename this step newsletter opt in. Now at the bottom, I need to create the SMS message itself. Note that you only have 160 characters to use, including spaces, and we need to leave this line in there, and it says reply stop to unsubscribe. So with my remaining characters, I want to use this message to allow my customers to opt in to my monthly newsletter. So I'm going to paste in a message I wrote earlier that says, this is Brent from Cloudwalker Brewery Supply. Reply yes within three days if you'd like to receive our monthly newsletter. After I've done that, I'll go to my Actions menu and choose Save and Return. Okay, so far, so good. I have an SMS step in my campaign, but now I need to add a decision step beneath it so that I can check to see which of my contacts have replied with the word yes. So let's click this SMS action, and from the dropdown, I'm going to choose to insert an action after this step. The action I want to insert is a decision step. And now I'll click go. Okay, this creates the decision step for me and it takes me directly to its settings. So I need to add a condition to this decision. And the condition type is going to be an SMS response. This will dynamically add some additional fields below. For the SMS path field, I'm gonna choose the newsletter opt-in message that I created earlier. This tells the decision step to look for responses from my newsletter opt-in message. And then in the response field, I want it to trigger off the word yes. This is the exact text string that will send customers down the yes path on my workflow. So now I'll click save. And then at the top for decision name, I'm just going to type yes response. I'll go to my actions menu on the right and choose save and return. Okay, now our campaign workflow is starting to take shape. We start out by sending a text message to our customers. Then after a period of time, we will check to see who replied with the word yes. But I said I would give them three days, didn't I? So I'm gonna change this time element from one day to three days. And to do that, I need to click on the little arrow. From here, the time interval, I'll change it from one to three days and click save. So now after three days, we're going to split our customers into two groups. Those who replied with the word yes will be sent down the yes path, and those who did not reply with the word yes will be sent down the no path. And of course, anyone who replied with the word stop will be completely unsubscribed from all future SMS messages. I'm not concerned with those on the no path, so I'm just gonna let the campaign end for them. But for those on the yes path, I need to add them to my Cloudwalker newsletter campaign. The way to do that is to change this end step into an action step. So instead of removing the end step, I'm gonna change the action type. And this time I want it to just be an action, so I'll click go. This takes us to the action screen, and in the first dropdown, I'm going to add these customers to a drip, which means a marketing campaign. And in the second dropdown, I need to choose the campaign for my newsletter, and it's called Cloudwalker Newsletter. Now I'll click save. Just so it's clear on my workflow, I'm going to change the action name to say add to newsletter. 
campaign. Now I'll go to Actions again and click Save and Return. Now we're almost finished. There's one thing wrong with this workflow. Did you catch it? There needs to be an end step at the bottom of every branch in a campaign. So I'm going to click on this last action that I just created and I'm going to insert an action after this and the type of action is going to be an end step. And now I'll click go. And that's much better. At this point I can activate this campaign. But before activating a campaign like this, you really should look at the group to whom it will be sent and make sure that each of your contacts in the group has a mobile phone number and an email address saved to their contact records. Otherwise, this campaign will not be very fruitful. But now you can use marketing automation to send smart SMS communications to your customers.